Hey guys, welcome to the Blue Podcast with me, Tom and Ben. Today we will be doing our how about title this video? Our irreplaceable Premier League players for each team. So we've gone through ourselves and picked a player, maybe a couple of players for discussion uh, of each team in the Premier League, starting from Burnley all the way up to City. Um, and yeah, this is going to be hopefully a couple of debates in 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 there for us. Um, and uh, yeah, if you agree with us, do also let us know um, in the comments below. You know, make let Absolutely. us know if you agree or disagree because obviously we aren't we aren't perfect. Uh, mm -hmm. We probably will also touch on some recent fixtures, maybe at some point during this podcast. Um, but yeah, before we do all that, how you doing, Ben? I'm good, thanks. <laughs> And again, before we get into all that, um, we at the Blue Podcast are now an ambassador for a new app called LinkMe. It's an app that makes juggling social media accounts easier than ever. So make sure to download the app and make an account with our link, which is in the top of the description below. Well, it's the winter break, Ben. You enjoying no football on the weekend? Yeah, it's great. No. <laughs> it's, no I, mean, I mean, I think it's good. Um, that they've actually put in a winter break that's actually a winter break. Um, because I remember, was it a few seasons ago they did a winter break and it was like, wasn't a winter break really because that like, team just got like a week off and that was it. Um, so I think it is good in, in that sense, but obviously, from a fan point of view, you're like, yeah, good to watch, but for the players, it's it's really good. So, yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit disappointing. Um, obviously, so we beat. Spurs after the purple show we recorded, which was mm. uh, very, very nice. Did you uh, did you watch it? No, but uh, I saw the highlights and it was a very, very, very questionable call to disallow their goal. Um, like I don't know, like even uh, even you said you're like it was very, very soft. <laughs> so so yeah. yeah, so yeah. I mean, I, I, obviously, like you know, it's what people say, you know, Gary and I was saying, obviously, from a defender's point of view, it was clever, you know, he felt a slight touch, so he used that to his advantage, but, like, come on, like, I thought I thought the English game was supposed to be, like, you know, a bit more tough and, you know, a bit more, you know, you can get away with stuff, but, uh, yeah. obviously, not that game. Um, but then, obviously, Chelsea played fantastic second half, but, it, you, I mean, and Chelsea might have even gone on still to win that game, but, yeah, a different game if that goes that's a goal, yeah. Different game. So, you know, um yeah, I mean, you know, it swings and roundabouts isn't it, but um if if, if that was I mean, I think it, even Chelsea you as a Chelsea fan, if that was given against Chelsea, you would be absolutely seething and absolutely fuming. So, you know, it's one of those ones. Um but yeah, um you know, Chelsea got the win that they and that they they needed because I think it's something they like they needed it. But yeah, fourth, fourth, fourth time this season we've beaten Spurs. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, three it's, times it's, in three weeks. Yeah, is is it? Yeah, I mean you definitely need because it's like is it? I can't remember which team it is, but it can be three points behind you. Is it United? Uh, Arsenal. I mean, well, Spurs could have, Spurs could have over, overtaken us if they won their games in hand. Right, right. I think United can get within three points of you. Yeah, it's, so it's it was close. Better. It's scarily it was, close for the, for us it, getting involved in the top four battle, which yeah, we didn't really was, want to be involved in. Yeah, it's important. It was important for you to win that game. So yeah, yeah. And then uh, you drew on the weekend. Yeah, yeah. No, it's. Uh, I mean, I mean, it's what. Obviously, you want to win every game, but you can't win them all. That's that's the nature of football. So, you know. Like that, it was, it, played it, very, very well. To be fair to them, Southampton played really well. Yeah, don't get me wrong, but you know, you, like, like I say, you can't win them all, and we, when you go on a winning run like that, it's always going to end at some point. Yeah. So, you know, I don't, I don't, I, I don't see the big deal. And but and then obviously, like, I mean, obviously, obviously, the, it's it's a big deal in the sense that obviously we didn't win. And obviously, you want to win every game, but it, that happens in football. It's part and parcel of football. You draw games, you win games, you lose games. Like that's just, that's the nature of it. Um, but like, yeah, I mean, obviously, if Liverpool win their game in hand, they're six points behind. But even even if we won that game, they're eight points behind. 
And I said on a previous podcast, it's not over. Eight points is nothing. Like, you know what I mean? Like, so Yeah. And I mean it could it could have been been worse if Brozier was wasn't close. He was very close to being on the side for the his, Yeah, his I mean it I mean it was offside, but if he yeah. just held on slightly, like, you know, it could have been a different game, but um, yeah, I mean, even, even on a previous podcast as well, I said, even when, you know, it wasn't, even when Liverpool, it was still been eight points behind if they won the games. And I said, there's still too many games to play. There's still too long to go. So, uh, and I don't think any, any City fan, maybe some City fans, but thought it was over. Um, and oh, yeah. I don't, and uh, and uh, I mean, obviously, the, the, like, it, I think Pep was like, I, I don't see why, because in, in the media and like sort of stuff, it's like, oh, it's over, it's done, like, oh, what, you like, blah, blah, blah. and then as soon as we draw again, it's like, oh, it might be back on. Like, what? Why does that one result change it? Because it doesn't really. It, it was always on. Because City, like, City know themselves. We have overturned eight points from being eight points behind before ourselves, so we know it can be done. We know for well what you know, you know that, that it can be done. So, yeah, um, like it's, it's looking um, looking like a sort of a city and Liverpool race. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's Chelsea, Chelsea are out of it. That's, that's yeah. Quite... I mean, I mean, obviously, obviously, it would take something catastrophic for. Um, but, but, but the thing is, though, it, it, Chelsea would have to do win every game of the season, like in the rest of the season, and then like City and Liverpool would have to drop stupid points as well. So like it's yeah, yeah it's it's yeah. we're out of it. But I've accepted that now, so it's right. <laughs> and uh, but yeah, no, it's it's it, like six points behind is uh, is nothing for Liverpool, and obviously, um, like. Well, not, not like it's nothing for Liverpool as in like we're going to suddenly start dropping points, but like it's in terms of a title race, it's nothing like things can change that quickly. Um, yeah. but yeah, but um, yeah, so I mean, in terms of the game, I mean, I went to the pub to watch, and I, I think there's a curse against me going to watch City at the pub. Every time I've been to watch City at the pub, we've, we've, I, we've lost. Um, and you, you I'm, this is how superstitious I was. I left the pub at half time because I was, I was, I was that. I was like, I'm not watching City lose at a pub again. And then we equalized. So I was like, well, there we am. So like, you're just never going to watch City at the pub again. The, the superstition was vindicated. This is the problem. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, I think, I mean, it. Uh, and in, in terms of the game itself as well, I don't think City played terrible. Obviously, we weren't at an unusual standard, but we were still creating a few chances, especially second half. Mm. So it wasn't like we were, you know, awful, absolutely diabolical. But obviously, we weren't at our best. Like, that's, I mean, we didn't win. But like, it wasn't like, yeah, it wasn't catastrophic or like, you know, concerning. Um, yeah, it's not. It's not the end of the world, really. No, no. But it, uh, you know, it's, it was just one of those games, and I mean, sometimes in those games you can lose them. So to get a point out of them, out of it was yeah. was nice. And I mean, mm. we could have we hit the post three times, so we could have gone on to win that game, in in you know in, in on another day. So yeah, um, obviously, um, yeah, yeah. No, it's uh. I think I think it's in, in your eyes the tar, in your eyes the tar race isn't over between you and Liverpool. Um, yeah. So. Yeah. It's not the end of the draw. Is not the end. No, I just I just think because um, it was in like Gary Olszewski. I think uh, what what sort of is it, it annoyed him a little bit is sort of the reactionary nature of of the media. You know, so it's sort of like the the, the fickleness of of the media. It's like. At eight points, it's over, but at six points, it's not. It's like, well, it's two points difference. Like, you know, there's it's nothing, nothing like. So I think that's that's what, because in his interview, he was like, I don't don't get it. And then on match of the day, obviously, the, the, 
they were talking about it as well. Um, but I think I think that's the reason why he was a little bit like yeah. well, he wasn't he wasn't annoyed, but like he was just sort of making a point, wasn't he? Um, but yeah, yeah no. Um, yeah, yeah. So it's just on to the next games, really. Yeah, yeah. Which is not for a while, unfortunately. And it's weird because obviously on the Premier League app, uh, the Watford game is on the fifth of February, I think, and it's in this game week still. But obviously, there's that massive winter break between. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Which is a bit silly. Um, yeah. Should we move on to the uh, irreplaceable players for each club? Yeah. Do you want to go first with your uh, with your Burnley <laughs> pick, or should I? Um. Uh, I mean, I I, I don't mind. I, I could, uh, yeah, I, I went Tarkowski. I went Nick Pope. Nick Pope. Oh, you love Pope though. You went oh, Nick Chelsea. Love Pope. You were like, yeah, when you were keep... Pope, you were like, I feel like he's, he's way more. He's way more irreplaceable than Tarkowski for Burnley. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think there's an argument there to be made, isn't there? Um, but I, mean, I, I guess it's the same with both players. You can always go and buy another centre back who's just as good. Or another goalkeeper yeah. is just as good, but I, I mean, I, I, I don't know. know. Like this, this, yeah, but the, the the seasons that Pope's had with Burnley, like, like hmm. I don't know he's enough been about. A monster for them. Yeah, I don't know if enough about Pope. So, like, is he like Burnley through and through or something? Like, I don't know. I've not um, but I mean, Tarkowski maybe not so much this season, but like especially like the last couple of seasons, he's been quality. So, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, obviously they're struggling at the moment, but they've got loads of games in hand. Um, so see if they can pick up some points there. But mm. yeah, I mean, I, I can back Nick Pope. I don't really know enough about the Burnley squad to. Yeah, that's the thing. Well, I've heard a lot, lots of good things about Corne, but obviously it's not been enough yet. Oh yeah, yeah. he's had forty-one yeah. clean sheets and one hundred and twenty-two Premier League appearances. There's Dwight McNeil, uh, who's could get a number. Yeah, one, I've heard, like. heard of think good things about him as well. Um, I mean, we don't really know. This is why we need people in the comments to let us know who yeah. you think. Um, Nick, Nick Pope, I mean, so you could argue some of those clean sheets are down to Tarkowski. Ooh, nah. Nah, yeah. I, I can, I can, I can. Yeah. The thing is, though, I don't know if they do, though, because Nick Pope's like, I remember on Fantasy last season and for this season as well, like, he may concede, but he makes that many saves that he gets bonus points. Right. <laughs> so right. he's like, still a great keeper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can, I can back, I can back him. All right, I'll put him down in green. Watford. Um, it might be a bit of recency bias. Um, oh, do you want to go first? Do you, you can go first. Yeah, well. oh, yeah we, we'll, we'll take it in turns. I wrote yeah. down two players because I didn't really know. Mm. I wrote down Dennis and Sissoko. I went with Dennis. Okay, we'll um, it's Matt, yeah, it's it's a bit of recency bias, but he has been so important in terms of goals for them recently. But yeah, um, so the coach come in instantly up the armband though. Um, pretty, I think he started every game for them um, in midfield, so you could argue for that. But in terms of goals, Dennis has been uh, yeah. very useful. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure Although he's uh, not playing. He's not playing in the next game because he got a second yellow yeah. card. Yeah, no, but I'm sure. I'm sure um, because they've got, they've got a new manager in Roy Hodgson, so I'm sure he'll be uh, trying to use him uh, as much as possible. So yeah, see if uh, mm -hmm. see if Roy can uh, do the do a, do the biz. Do the biz. Do the biz. Yeah. Well, next up we've got Newcastle. Who did he put? Saint Maximin. It's got to be. I put Alan St. Maximan, Max Maximin, and Callum Wilson. Yeah, I can see Callum Wilson honourable mention, but he gets injured too much. St. Maximan is is the talisman for them. Like he just, yeah. he just, uh, yeah, like he some of the runs he goes on, like in in, in matches. Uh, I've heard that he's been a bit crap this season, though. Oh, he's, I mean, he's been a bit, like, he, he won't he won't pass the ball necessarily at the right time, and 
but yeah. but but the thing is, they were then in the same vein. They go, he'll have a really bad game and still get a goal. Yeah, so it's difficult to to argue with that, isn't it? Isn't it really? So yeah, yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's very difficult to argue with that. Um, but yeah, as, as we've said before, like me and Ben aren't obviously Burnley, Watford, or Newcastle fans, so we can't exactly say yeah. for sure. We're doing our best. <laughs> yes, we are. We are doing our best. Uh, next up, Norwich. Uh, it's um, on me. Yeah. I wrote down Timu Puki. Uh, I I put. I mean, I put. It was between Max Aaron's and Rashitsa. Because Timu Pucky doesn't hasn't done much recently, but I, I, I just remember hearing Aaron's names and Rashid's name when I've, when they've been on match of the day. So I don't I don't know. Um, mm. uh, I mean, Pucky, Pucky was like the obvious one, but I, then I thought, has he scored that much recently? I don't know. Pucky so. is on. I don't know. That's for this season. Uh, he's on five goals this season, which is the same as Hurricane and Lukaku. Just, just saying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Rashika is on zero goals this season. Right. Uh, yeah. And Aaron's is his defender. Yeah, I wrote, I wrote down Aaron's, but I thought I'd give. I, I, I know, I know. He scored, he scored. He hasn't scored in his entire Premier League career. Um, I, I know. Aaron's is a good player, mm. but I can see him being sold soon and then mm. replaced. Yeah. Whereas, like the fact that Pookie's pretty much, I think he, he, I don't know if he's their top goal scorer, but he's pretty much their top goal scorer. How many is Eder on actually? Eder is on, yeah, one goal. Uh, right. Like, I think I think Pookie is the only person scoring for them, yeah. which. In a, in a relegation battle, is there was um, was it that sergeant and stuff? Sergeant so, only scored two. Yeah, but that was last game. That was that was last game. Um, I know Rish, how many uh, Rashitsa got an assist and Pucky got an assist last game. I only know because I got it up before to see what the team was. So, but, uh, yeah, Rashitsa hasn't scored though. Uh, I've heard I've heard a few things about uh, Matthias Norman. Mm. How important he is. And all actually, I think honourable mention as well to Grant Hanley. I remember yeah. when we played them, he was their best player. Yeah. Mm. Oh, Grant Hanley could be a shot. <laughs> yeah, I think he's their captain. You good? You good? That, went, that went down the wrong way. Jesus. <laughs> um, ben, uh, ben, ben dies live on the Blue Podcast. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I can, I can back Pocky. Still upload it. <laughs> I can back Pocky. I, I, I just, I wrote, I wrote down Aaron's and thought I'd give an honourable mention to Rashitsa, but yeah, I can back Pocky because I don't know enough about the squad to, uh, to make an argument either way. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've given a good argument for why he should be irreplaceable. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, you could bring in someone else who's better. Yeah, yeah. But currently, they don't really have anyone in no. that vein. So. That's fair enough. Everton, it's your turn to go first. He's not been uh, doing as well recently, but that's the case. And Everton not doing as well recently, but I've got to back my boy, Calvert-Lewin. I He's, also uh, put Calvert-Lewin. Because yeah. they've dropped off. Of him. He, got, he, got, he, got, he got injured. They dropped like a, like a sack of potatoes. Um, and he's only really just coming back now. Uh, yeah, yeah. So from from the is, injury, he's, so he's Everton. Like he's from the Everton Academy. Yeah. No, he signed, didn't idea. he? He signed, but I mean, he, he's he's like a sort of a youth producty player, isn't he? So he's like he's got a bit of that uh, there, and uh, um. But I mean, if 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 Lampard does get the Everton job, I think he'll 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 do well under Lampard because I mean Lampard showed at Chelsea he'll, he'll play those type of players like Abraham and stuff. And he, I mean, he's never been the most prolific of strikers, but he does bring give the team um, like 
more than just goals, but like he, he, when he has played, he has scored, you know, a, a decent amount. So yeah, so hopefully when he's yeah, he's, back, we, 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 he's back, he's back properly from his injury. Honorable honorable mention as well to uh, Pickford, I think. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. And lately, yeah. Damari Gray for them as well has been very good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Maybe but, a bit of a, um, yeah, Seamus Coleman, you know, long, long yeah. serving. But yeah, yeah, Cavett Loon. Uh, uh, yeah. Like, uh, Leeds. I put down Rafinha. Yeah, same. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's just, uh, yeah, he's just, um, He's very good, isn't he? He's just—he's just been that. He's been that level above uh, for Leeds uh, this season. Yeah, and um, I'd say most of last season as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, he is—he is their talisman, basically. Um, say similar to Saint Maximum. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, and he, um, he brings goals. He brings assists. Like the fact that he's been in a lot of people's fantasy teams this season in a team yeah. that's quite low down the table is yeah he's part, he's part, of, the reason, he's part of the reason that they're doing okay yeah really. um because they, they were struggling well, they're, they're, they're two three places off of um radiation so yeah yeah but i mean they, they would have been i reckon they would have been lower down without him so oh 100 you know, yeah no they exactly, absolutely would be lower down so you know he, he is a key player for them uh, very important for them so yeah mm. yeah yeah we agree <laughs> we agree on Rafinha. Yeah. i'm gonna guess we get the same person again for brentford uh you go first Tony. 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 <laughs> yeah <laughs> Tony. Oh, so we've got three in a row now which we agree on Jeez. Jeez. yeah no that's a yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean he, just, he, just, he just is their best player, in my opinion. Yeah, he showed it in the championship and he showed it in the Premier League. Um, did, he, did he get injured or something? Or he something did get injured, like, yeah. Yeah, but when, it, when, he's, when he's been playing, he's, he's been, you know, showing what he can do, been fantastic. Yeah, his hold up play is fantastic as well. Oh, yeah. Like, bullies, he just bullies defenders. Yeah, yeah. Because, and, yeah. and also having a, having a striker like that in a team just will help with. Um, freeing up other players mm. like if you if you've got a center forward like that who's just taking up space on the left slightly left flank or whatever it makes the, the center backs have to think a lot more and therefore gives a lot more space for, for the Brentford players which is good fair enough to yeah. them. absolutely i mean this i think i think we have to credit for them where they are in the league because obviously you'd think that they would be higher who? Uh, Brentford. Brentford. You, oh. well, I, I would personally think they should be higher, but then I do look at the other teams ahead of them, and they're also having very good seasons. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it, it, but in part like, of that, like, is, like, your, like your Palace and your Brighton. And yeah. Your in part, in part, that's because Brentford started off so well, and it has tailed off slightly, but they're still there. So yeah, like the uh, like the the sort of it kind of they had the you know the the high of you know get being you know a promoted team in the in the uh in in the premier league and then it stabilized a little bit but they're still there so they could quite easily you know go up a, a little bit sort of thing um so yeah 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 palace uh me uh i put down corner gallagher currently I I'm, I forgot about him too far. I, I put I put Edward on on no, no, no. Just I oh, mean, I'm sorry. If it's this season, oh, especially. Conor, Conor no, yeah, Conor Gallagher. I think um, I would have gone. I forgot about him. I would I would have gone for Conor Gallagher. But I mean, it's an honourable mention for Edward because he like he's ba- basically a better Benteke. Like, yeah. But he, he's not even he's not even a similar. He's a different type of player, really. He's a bit more mobile and stuff. Yeah. Um, and I always remember that the, I think he came better to have up front than Benteke. 
Yeah, yeah. And I think it was his first, his debut, he came on and scored two off the bench or something. Like, so he does bring like something different um, to, to the, to the, to the, to the Palace team, to that, to that strike, strike, uh, to the strikers they've got, basically. So, yeah. Yeah, but I can back, I can back Conor Gallagher. Sound, sound. Yeah. <sighs> I can't believe you got Conor kind of Gallagher. Hey, shocking. <laughs> uh, oh. Have I liked? A little bit. Are you back now? Oh, dear. Oh, so awesome. Oh, so, all right. Yeah. Southampton, who did you put down? Ward Prowse. Gotta be. Ward Prowse. Yeah. I also put James Ward Prowse. Because yeah, he is. He's just. His free kicks are all right, aren't they, Ben? They're all right. They're not bad. They're not bad. Like yeah, no, that that last free kick he scored was quality. And I mean, it's it's not even just his. It's obviously he's, he's fantastic at set pieces. Um, yeah. But it's even even his just general play, like it's you know fantastic. You know, distributing the play, keeping it ticking over, picking a pass. Um, you know, sort of interceptions. You know, he's, he's a good player. I'd be I'd be very surprised if he doesn't get picked up by. Uh, mm. You know, one of the top six. I mean, even City oh, might, because yeah. we're looking. Uh, is twenty? Is he mid twenties? But like, uh, even City are going to be looking for a, a holding midfielder. Twenty-seven. All right. Yeah. So City are looking for a, a holding midfielder in the summer. So, uh, you know, I mean, I don't know. He's more. He's more sort of just a normal, uh, just the centre mid. But he could play that position easily. So, uh, and it. He might be one of those players who's a bit more willing to sort of be in rotation with Rodri. So, you know, yeah. you never know. With the, um, with, the, with the wages, maybe. Yeah, yeah. But right. the thing is, though, he is he is currently Mr. Southampton, though, isn't he? Oh, yeah, yeah. He, he, like we said about St. Maximan and Rafinha, he's he's Southampton's talisman. Yeah. Uh, so he, he, yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's the man for Southampton. Yeah, everything, he is he's everything definitely the man. <laughs> Everything now, goes this through. one could be this. This one could could be interesting for the uh, the Villa uh, irreplaceable player. Mm. Who did you put? Uh, I went with McGinn. John McGinn. John McGinn. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I put Martinez. Martinez. Oof. Yeah. Martinez. The difference is that he's player. brought into that team. Yeah. Is very no. very different. Massive. It's a good shout that one. I, uh, I, obviously, my... shout, I, 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 I want to get nod, nod, tip my hat to Konza. I think, mm. I think Konza has been very good for Villa. Um, I think he's actually been their best centre back of late. Mm. Um, who else? Yeah, John, I think John McGinn's and Douglas Deleuze as well. Yeah, but they've got some good players. Don't get me wrong. And then they've just yeah, yeah. Philip Coutinho. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it's... Um, I, I so, might be le- leaning to sort of back in Martinez, but honourable mention to McGinn, because I think whenever I've like, watched him like, or, or seen him on Match of the Day or something, he always seems to have that, he's that drive in midfield and he's sort of the one that gets him going, you know, sort of thing. And he's got a bit of grit and determination about him. Um, but, yeah... Yeah, yeah, I do get in terms of sort of the the effects Martinez has had on that team is quality because he, yeah, he, he just some of the saves he pulls out and he is quality, yeah, he is quality. Like just, just, just the, even, even his just presence, like it's just fantastic. So yeah, I can I can back Martinez. Oh dear.
I'm back. Lovely. Um, what were we saying? Uh, we were talking about uh, Villa, but the next one's uh, Leicester. We were talking about Martinez and Villa, but... Um, Yeah, next yeah. Leicester. Next one is Leicester. Uh, I had three players down for this. Yeah. Um, I, have, uh, one, I had you... Schmeichel and Vardy. Leaning more yeah. towards Schmeichel. Okay. How about you? I, I've got I've got Vardy. Vardy down. Although he's not played as much recently, um, but um, you put Vardy. Yeah, yeah, he's not played as much recently, but what he's done over the past few years. But I guess you can say the same about Schmeichel. Um, but yeah. Um, oh, if, if, if if you've put Vardy down, I'll, I'll happily agree that we will go with Vardy. Yeah. Obviously, he, I did I did note no, no. him down, and then obviously. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if it's like recency bias because he's not played. Um, that you like. I'm, I'm sort of thinking maybe Schmeichel, but um, yeah, difficult one, difficult one. The um. Uh, um, Uh, yeah. The I'm back. Am I back? Yeah. Am I? Am, am I? Am I back? <laughs> this is awful, man. Oh, I'm really sorry about this. Really That's sorry fine. about this. Everyone watching, listening. It's, it's no problem. Okay, I think it's. I think. We're, I think we're back. I think we're back. <laughs> Right, we'll be back in. We'll be back well, in we pick Vardy, right? We pick, we pick Vardy. Oh, we're going Vardy. Fair, fair enough. Yeah, right, exactly right. Vardy. but obviously, very, 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 very honourable mention to Schmeichel. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know if it like I was saying, is it recency bias because he's not played? But I was sort of leaning Schmeichel, but I don't know. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I don't, I don't mind you. Let's be honest. Who's the irreplaceable one in your opinion, Ben? Irreplaceable. Oh. I guess in terms of his uniqueness, it's got Ivardi, hasn't it? Maybe, yeah. Because he's like the non-league journey, he, you know, drinking Red Bull and uh, an omelette before a match, that sort of thing, you know. Probably, mm-hmm. probably that. I would say. Probably Vardy. All right, we'll go with Vardy. Brighton, who did you go over for? I went for Trossard. Really? Yeah. Well, I went for Basuma. Basuma. Yeah. 
Both, I mean, both played well. Yeah. Um, just, just in my opinion, I think Basuma's their best player. Yeah. Most important. Yeah, I can back that. He, like, he, he, yeah. Yeah, no, he... Yeah, he, he, um, he is very much sort of... Um, he, he is, what like, the player in their midfield. Um, yeah. So yeah, I can, I can back that. So um, you, yeah. you would you agree him over Trossard then? Yeah, I mean honourable mention mentions Trossard because he, he is like one of the main forwards for them and it has you know done well. But yeah, in terms of overall what they bring to the team, I think Basuma just because I mean they've got they've got good midfielders, but he is the midfielder really. Mm-hmm. So he's wanted by European giants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and I remember when he played us, he was fantastic both times. So, mm. yeah, yeah. Um, Wolves, you go first because I've got three names down here. Um, I just went with Jimenez. Just he's just, not. He's not. He's not any of the three people I've written down. Really? No, I just. I just thought. I mean, in terms of, I mean, he started. He had that head injury, you know, and he. He, before that, he was scoring for fun, and he started. He scored. He's been scoring, not to the same extent, but been scoring. You know, a decent amount after. Um, but the, the sort of the story of like his recovery and coming back and stuff. I think, you know, that, that's. Uh, yeah, but they were worth... still surviving even without him, though. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, but they were. They were. They did. They did uh, struggle without him. Um, True. Like they did, like tail off a little bit. Um, not not ridiculously, but you know, they still had a little bit of a dip in form. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's worth, worth at least an honourable mention. Um, yeah, I put Saw, their keeper, mm-hmm. who's been yeah, yeah. fantastic. Yeah, Cody, Connor Cody. Yeah, it's like and Mr. Wolves. What Mr. Mr. Wolves and Neves? Yeah, quality mm-hmm. midfielder. Neves is fantastic, actually. Um, they're the difficult ones, that. Mm. Oof. Mm-hmm. Are, you lean, are, you, are you leaning towards? In terms of irreplaceable, Saw so or Cody. Yeah. But then the uniqueness of Nevers. He's yeah, quite never. and he's quite yeah. young as well. Yeah, because because he's got a full he's got because because he's got a full face of hair like you, and he's sat <laughs> next to Jao Martino, who's old as old as hell. Everyone thinks yeah. he's quite old, but he's not. I think he's under twenty six. Yeah, yeah. I do like Nevers. I want, yeah, like, I'm not gonna lie. I like but Nevers as well. Cody's Nevers been there. But Cody's been there for ages, hasn't he? Yeah, like, that... kind of one of the criteria we seem to have come up with is who is Mr. Wolves or who yeah, is Mr. Yeah. Newcastle. Because that yeah. tends to help with the irreplaceableness of, of who they are. Because obviously if they're yeah. if they're they're the face of the club, they're yeah, probably yeah. quite irreplaceable. Uh, I mean Sar's so been fantastic those... when he's been there, but he's only been there since last summer. Yeah. Um Obviously, they're going for a good price as well, I think. Yeah. He's just been very, very good. I'm struggling with this one. I'd say it's between, for me, I, think, I think it's between Cody and Neves. Cody and Neves. Mm. Neves is wanted by... by well, was wanted by... Uh, in, like, United you know, wanted him. Yeah, I think we were looking at him at you know, before we got Rodri or something like that, but yeah, European clubs and stuff like that. I'm trying to figure out who's more irreplaceable. I think Cody could just be more irreplaceable because because of what he'll also bring to the changing room. Like, yeah, yeah. I can. Do they, back, have I can many other, do they have that many other leaders on the pitch? Like he's the leader, isn't he? I mean, yeah. There's M- Mitinho, I guess, a little bit. Um, yeah, yeah, but he's just an angry Portuguese. I can, man. I can, I can back Cody if you go with Cody. To be fair, 
And if I went with Nevis, you could back Nevis. And if I went with Surrey, yeah. you could back Surrey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. But yeah, if you're leaning, uh, if you're leaning... I'm, I'm trying to stick to the criteria that we kind of been setting ourselves. I'm going with yeah. Cody. Yeah, just because uh, yeah. I think in terms of irreplaceability, he's a lot harder. No, that's fair enough. Spurs, Kane. Th- Spurs, got uh, Kane. Oh, we can do it together. Three. Oh, three, is it your one, turn? <laughs> yeah, your turn. Sorry. Yep, has to be. Uh, he's a. I mean, Kane. obviously not not so much recently, yeah. but I mean, he started. To pick I mean, up a lot. literally. He's got he's got five goals now, um, mm-hmm. but he again Mister Mister Spurs himself, um, and also it's Harry Kane. Yeah, I think yeah, in most right. clubs he goes to, he'll be pretty irreplaceable. Yeah, no, he, he, like obviously uh, not so much recently, but I mean he's picked up a little bit, but he he's still a quality player. Like he's still a fantastic mm. finisher. Like so, you know it's. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's difficult. I mean, Son uh, is is a, I guess an honourable mention. Um, I guess. Uh, um, I, don't know. I mean, I guess based on our criteria, Larice maybe. But yeah, yeah it's gotta be. But I, no, I think Kane's more irreplaceable it's, than yeah, Larice, really. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 It's gotta be Kane. Yeah. 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 Up next, we've got Arsenal. Mm. Who have you put down? I went, uh, I went with Saka. He's one of my three. Yeah. Ramsdale, mm. Saka, and Odegaard. Yeah, I mean Ramsdale's been good when he when he's been there, but he's only been there since summer. His his oh. impact though has been yeah quite yeah. drastic. Yeah. Uh, Odegaard's been good, but he's only Odegaard's been there. very, very good this season. Since, As in like, when, I, when, when I saw, when I've seen Arsenal play this season, I thought Odegaard and Martinelli are their best two players. Mm, yeah. But um, uh, the only thing that I've met, like, drew me to Saka was he's a youth product as well. So he's got his Arsenal through and through. Um, and some of, the, some of the goals I've seen, like, he scores a uh, Quality, so that's why I went with Saka. But I can see Odegaard and uh, and, and Ramsdale. But yeah, that's why I, I went towards Saka. Um, All right, well, we'll go with Saka for now because uh, we both put put him down. I personally, currently this season, would say Odegaard. Right. But we'll we'll go with Saka because that's, that's understandable. Yeah. It's not like um, it's not, it's not like you're making me bend my like break my arm to yeah yeah. Exactly. Like, yeah. I've also written him now. Yeah, um, Smith Rowe, uh, honourable mention. Smith Rowe, yeah, but he's not playing. He's not restarting enough, is he? Yeah. Only yeah. starting over him. Martinez starting yeah. over him. Saka starting over him. So Tierney, honourable mention. Yeah, but uh, Tavares, uh, honourable mention. Yeah, but Tavares did a obviously not as good a job. But a, a decent enough job when he yeah. was in, when he was injured. You could yeah. maybe say one of the centre backs, maybe Tomiyasu, because they really missed him when he wasn't quite uh, when he was when he yeah. got injured and uh, Cedric was playing and stuff. But yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go with Saka. This is the one that will I think will cause a bit of unsurety to. This is quite a difficult one for the West Ham. Mm. I've written down two players. I've written down uh, three. I've written down Rice and Antonio. Oh, I've uh, I forgot about Rice. <laughs> How can you yeah. forget about Rice? I did, you just go off the top of your head, don't you? But I, wow, I mean, wow, three wow. might be recency bias in the first one, but I went Bowen because he's playing fantastic. I know. I I, I just, I just uh, Bowen for me honorable mention, but he's not irreplaceable. Fair enough. Lanzini, I think he's a quality player. He's quite, I think he, I, I, again, not, it's in my, it, yeah, my opinion, every, he's yeah, irreplaceable. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Every time he, every time he, like, sc- like I've seen, like, some, like, every time I see he scored a goal, his goals are always, like, naughty. So, yeah. You know, but, like, he, he, that's very rare, though. 
Yeah, even even when even um, in his general general play, he's just he's got you know he's fantastic. very good. Yeah, uh, but again, like he doesn't start every game for sit for for West Ham and yeah, yeah, yeah. And then last player I went Antonio. Um, for me, it's between Rice and Antonio. Yeah, Bowen. Yeah. Honorable mention Lanzini, great player, but yeah, it's between yeah. two and. I th- I can't remember who I spoke to this about before. Between who would be the more replaceable out of two of them, I feel like Rice will be a bigger miss, but is easier to replace in mm. their squad because of the players they have. Whereas Antonio won't be as big of a miss in terms of because of how good Rice. It's like Rice is a miss. <laughs> um, uh, he's got the captain on at such a young age. He's a phenomenal player. So that's why I mean, like, he'll be missed more, but easy to replace. Whereas Antonio won't be missed as much as Rice because of the caliber of player that they are. But he's harder to replace in that squad. Yeah, yeah. So it's I think... very difficult to decide between them. Because obviously, yeah. do you go for who's the better player or mm. do you go for who's easier to replace? And then. It, so that's why this. I thought this one yeah. was quite difficult. I think Antonio is a very unique player, isn't he? Yeah, he just being a striker, but Rice, what he brings to the team is, is you know difficult to like. He's um fantastic. He's very very good. Um, yeah, this could be a. Are we allowed to do giant ones? <laughs> uh, should we, should we yeah. find a friend? Yeah, we, can, we can do. Uh, we'll, we'll, uh, I'll, put, I'll put it in the purple oh. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, hopefully, they don't. We'll move on, but hopefully, they don't say that, like, go one at one each. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, just, I just said, uh, all right, so yeah, we'll come back to West Ham because I, I think that one's quite a difficult one to decide, in my opinion, just because of, yeah. like I said before, about the the different things that they bring, whatever. Manchester yeah. United. Um, I wrote down, I mean, there's one, obviously, that, you know, is the, the, the classic. The, the clear winner here. Yeah, yeah clear but winner. I did. Clear, I did write clear, down goated clearly. Yeah, I did write down a couple of honourable mentions because they do fit. Well, one of them Go does on. fit our criteria. Rashford, he is Mister. In terms Mr. of the Mister Manchester United, um, and he's United through and through, youth product. Um, yeah, he's he's, he's uh, I mean, not so much recently in terms of form, but if he's in form, he's a fantastic player. Um, and then I wrote, yeah, yeah. I mean, on rule mention to Bruno because before Ronaldo came, he was the man. Everything like everything went through him. That's yeah. why he got so many goals and assists. Like he, every, like he was the main uh, creative player for that team. Um, so, yeah, but yeah, obviously Ronaldo is Ronaldo, isn't he? So you haven't mentioned yeah. someone. Ronaldo. Yeah, what? you haven't mentioned the one, the, the person I wrote down. Oh, yeah. Oh, so you have In terms of replaceability at United, the Hayek. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ronaldo. Yeah. But it's it's yeah. No, I know I, you. I know you love. I know you love Ronaldo and all that. But no, I'm, I'm a messy geezer. You're talking about. Um, but yeah, I know, but I said like, I mean, like, like yeah. by you, I meant like just like people love Ronaldo. Like. Yeah, no, I get that, but it's, it's like, it's, mean, it's, it's, yeah, it's like you, like, yeah, I mean, absolutely, De Gea is very, 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 very important for that team. But it's 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 whether you go for that or do you go for one of the best two players in the world. I don't know. You know. I mean, didn't even make the top three, to be honest. 
Well, uh, yeah, well, well, you know, like overall, like that was just the last year, wasn't it? So, but overall, was, yeah, but, I think, but again, he joined. He's already joined this season. Yeah. So how can yeah, he be guess, already yeah. irreplaceable? Yeah, and I guess I guess he's got the like, he's like, got like, the how we didn't, like how we didn't pick Star, like how we yeah. didn't pick uh, some other yeah, players. I, guess, I mean, Colin yeah. Gallagher is the only person that doesn't quite fit that bill, and Dennis. Yeah, that's because yeah. of the impact that they've had on I their guess teams. It, whereas Ronaldo's you would think United would be in that position still without Ronaldo, mm. but in my opinion, they wouldn't be in that position if they didn't have De Gea. Yeah, I guess he's played for them previously. And he was the he was the he was the reason they got out of their Champions League group stage. Um, uh, Ronaldo. He's also the reason why they are in fifth place right now. No, no, Ronaldo. They're in fourth is place the, even they're in fourth. Yeah. Yeah, I was saying Ronaldo is the reason. Have you seen the save that Hay has been doing this season? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't, no, don't get me wrong. Yeah, it's been fantastic. But I mean, in the Champions League group stage, that was Ronaldo who did that, not the Hay. Um. De Gea has been made, done wonders for them in the league and stuff, and even in the Champions League, but especially the league. But Ronaldo, he he was one who scored all the goals in the Champions League uh, group stage, basically. So, hmm. um, but yeah, I, I can yeah, but and even in the league, he's been scoring scoring goals, you know, you know, decent amount of goals. But yeah, I, I can back I can back De Gea. I can back De Gea. You're not going to put your foot down on. Um, no, no. I mean, I mean, he, I think, I mean, he's he's done done well, um, but obviously, oh, De Gea has you know been there over an extended period of time, so yeah. Sorry, I'm I'm, in, I'm interrupting quickly. Hello, mate. Hello. Hi. Uh, me and Ben have got uh, an issue. Uh, we're doing irreplaceable Premier League players. Uh, uh, and we got to West. We got to West. Uh, about no, in terms, he's not irreplaceable though. We're talking about irreplaceable. Yeah, How could you replace Bode on, on West Ham? He's his quality. How could you I, replace I, Antonio I, or I, Declan Rice? I did, say, I did say Bowen. Oh. I'm just going to put that out there. I did say Bowen. Oh Bowen. Okay. But uh, to, to be fair, I, I think he's a bit of a golden bomb. Because Antonio has been out of form. I think he's a bit All right, am I back? Yeah. What did he say? Ben. Benjamin. Yeah. How much of I... Oh, dear. He's gone again. Where did you go? Ben? Ben? Just putting my laptop on charge. <laughs> Okay. Okay. But yeah. So, how much did you of that did you hear? Just so I can uh, understand. Not a lot. Where, not, where a lot. Uh, not a lot. Not a lot. 
Uh, so is it? Did he go with? Did he go with he said Antonio at the end. Antonio, right? He went with Antonio. Fair enough. I mean, I, you can back either. So, yeah. Rice is slightly easier to replace. Uh, yeah. Antonio. Yeah. And are we saying Ronaldo or De Gea? Uh, De Gea, yeah. De Gea, yeah. They, they got, you're like, yeah, you got back. I can back De Gea. got to back him. Then there. What, so sorry about... All right. Oh, he's been there 10 plus yeah. years, honest. Now, this one was really difficult for me. This into. one was very difficult for me. Oh, Chelsea. 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 Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll just say mine. I said Reese James, Kante, mm. Mount, mm. Rudiger, mm. Chilwell. Mm. Yeah. All, all, uh, all fantastic players. Might be a little bit of recency bias because you've, you, <laughs> both your fullbacks have gone and it's shown how much you need yeah. those fullbacks. But if they were playing, you probably thought, yeah, you know, like, going to... we, yeah. If if you know, we, we've literally been shown how actually important, yeah, those two you players were. Yeah. So you probably wouldn't get any thoughts yeah. if you did. You, 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 you write down. I put Kante down. He is he, the thing is he is irreplaceable. That's the thing. Yeah, he's, I he's mean, one, uh, one of a kind. Yeah, he's. He, I mean, he, he's incredible. He's he's a fantastic player. Um, I mean, p- like people, you know, do blow smoke up his ass a little bit, but like he he is he is good. Um, like you, you know, the, he, he does get a lot he of smoke uh, up, his, uh, up his ass. He won man of the match the last six games. Oh, here we go. This is this the stat that the always Champions comes League out. League, though. That, that always comes out. Like, yeah, no, he's fantastic. Don't get me wrong, but he does like get his ass licked like red raw. But like, no, he is, he's he is that a... good. No, he is fun. No, don't get me wrong, he's fantastic. He walks into any side. In my opinion, yeah. he walks into any side. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Um, but you know, um, like. You know, uh, Rodri's played played well this season. So no, I'm joking. Um, but yeah, no, he, he, yeah, like it, out of the irreplaceable players, like he, the 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 effect that he has on that Chelsea side when he's in it and when he's not in it, it kind of shows. I mean, obviously the same with the fullbacks, but for someone particularly because he's unique and, and and a unique player for Chelsea, yeah. and he, what he brings to the to the Chelsea side is unique. So yeah, yeah, no, I, I can back Kante. I can back Kante. Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, yeah, with Chilwell and James, like we've missed them mm. a lot, and it's very, 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 very noticeable. But that's more because we haven't got the squad depth to back. Oh, up. give over! No, 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 no! Just don't, don't, yeah. don't, just, just, don't, just, don't, just, don't, hey, let me finish my sentence, okay? Squad just in depth. those two specific roles, we, we no, 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 shut up! Let me finish. <laughs> In those go two big roles, we haven't got like a Kovacic level backup or a Jorginho level backup. Do you know what I mean? We've got Marcus Alonso. That's all I'm saying. That's that's on that's on Chelsea. That's right, what yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. No, Marcus that's Alonso. Like, Marcus Alonso, not great, not great. Yeah, that, that, but, that, I mean, that's why there's such a big difference. Like when you when yeah. you lose Chilwell and you put in Marcus Alonso, yeah. there's going to be a bigger fall off than if on... you don't play Kante and you start Kovacic. Yeah, and like, on the, the other difference. side, he's a completely different player to Rhys James. Um, but I think Asper Lequeta has done has done a good job, and a different different player. So he can't he, he's, and he's older, so he can't he can't possibly do the same job that Rhys James does. But he's done a job. Yeah. Like, so uh, I think I uh, I think. Um, as a backup, he's not bad. Oh, well, not not bad. He's he's a good good backup. Asplequesta, but Marcus Alonso is is yeah. Um, I completely agree with that. He's not he's not there. Um, but yeah, Asplequesta is a bit of a, 
might be doing him a bit of a, a disservice. Like, no, I, he's been, he's been, oh, he's, he's, no, he's I not, think, been, I think, he's, not been, he's, he's not, this is one of his worse seasons. Yeah, um, yeah, but I mean, it's, it's like, I think because it's a bit, I think it's a bit unfair because he can't do the same because he's not got the pace and he's, he's younger, no. he's not got the legs, so he can't do That's the same. He should be a right centre back, not a right wing back. Yeah, but the issue but, is realistically, Alonso's not good enough. And Aspicueta is actually a right wing back slash right back now, rather than a yeah, yeah. right sorry, right centre back slash right back, not a right wing back. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, uh, but as you know, just just um, a sort of a, a backup doing a job, he's done, he's done fine. Yeah, 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 yeah of, course, of course. Yeah, he's done well. Um, so. Moving on, yeah. Liverpool, three, two, one, Salah. Salah. What? What? <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. Fantastic. He, he again, walks, he, the thing is, that again, he just walks into any side, isn't it? Yeah, fantastic player. He's um, yeah, it's just uh, yeah, like um, I mean, it just uh, you know, some of the some of the goals he scores, some of the stuff he does, some of the you know bits of play, um, just just fantastic. Um, yeah, um. And I mean, it shows that, I mean, uh, they're in for Luis Diaz, aren't they? Um, yeah. So, but, um, I mean, I don't think anyone can... I think Spurs are as well. Yeah, I think Liverpool have moved ahead of them uh, for him. Um, but, yeah, in, ter- in terms of, I don't think anyone can get near Salah. Um, yeah. Which, which is... uh, he, 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 yeah, I'd say, I personally would say right now, only person in terms of form that is better than him in the world could be Lewandowski in terms of yeah. goals, yeah. everything like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, I mean, it, it shows, um, sort of Fab Fab said on uh, before he, he's concerned when he goes because he is so important to them, yeah. Like, that, that's not me being like, yeah, fantastic, like, but like. Like they, like they, they, they know they they know he's how like how key he is. They, 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 they need a plan desperately. Yeah. For a few I mean, they strike they strike me as 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 a as a club that will have a plan and will have like a, almost a succession and all that. Plan. Yeah. Uh, you know, a succession plan in place. Um, but you know, it, it's uh, um. Yeah, because they're a, they're a well-run club, but it's obviously. Easy said than done to replace a player like you know of the ilk of Salah, because um, they they you know they are that level above, um, and they are they are you know upper echelon. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We on to on to the next one. I've only put one down for this one. You know, there's a lot of honorable mentions. Um, I wonder who Tom's put down. I reckon he's probably put mine one down, but he probably put a couple of those as well. So we'll see. But I reckon, uh, I reckon it's got to be this skis. Not done as well this season, but he starts to pick up recently, as shown in his previous game. But uh, well, not previous game, but in recent games. But we'll, we'll find out when he's back. Bloody hell! Mm, there's a few. Technical issues we've been having today. Oh, yeah. 
I was just, oh. I was just saying. I mean, no. This Wi-Fi man, it's upsetting me. <laughs> so, right. I, uh, I was just saying, I've only chose one person for 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 this one, even though there's a lot of honourable mentions. But uh, yeah, only uh, it's got a bit. Uh, should I say mine first, there. then you can say yours? Yeah. Yeah, go for it. Ruben Diaz and Cancelo. It's got to be De Bruyne. Got to be De Bruyne. It's just, it's got to be. Irre- he's not irreplaceable. Oh, no, no, give over, give Diaz over. Is the, is, nah, nah, nah. For me, the, the one that's irreplaceable. Nah, nah, nah. Which one? Diaz. Really? Uh, no, no, which one? Are you, which one are you saying? Yeah. Cancelo. Which, which one? No, Diaz is Diaz. Diaz. Yeah, but, but De Bruyne is just what he brings to the team. It's it's unique and it is it's Diaz. passing. It's a level. It's a oh, level of this Wi-Fi man. This Wi-Fi. <laughs> this this like De Bruyne's you know passing and and what he brings to the team is a level above. Um, and I mean it was in um, Gary Neville's uh, and and Carragher's thing when the the asked that who would you take in uh, Neville asked um, Carragher. Who would you take in the um, in the Liverpool team? And he said the Bruyne straight away. So, yeah, uh, gotta be the Bruyne. I mean, we can get in. We can get in a get a phone a friend on this one if you want. No, no, no. You're the city man. You can pick. <laughs> you know more than me. You know more than me. Uh, I mean, I mean I, don't get me wrong. Diaz is is you know fantastic and Cancelo is fantastic, um, and I guess Diaz in the sense of being a like that commanded commanding centre back is um, it, you know is irreplaceable in that sense. But the Bruyne's just unique, and uh, yeah, and what he brings to the team is unique. So yeah, fair enough. Well. Uh... I'll quickly run through the list. Uh, but, uh, of our Irish Premier League players, uh, uh, Maximin, Norwich, Pukki, Everton, Calvert Lewin, House, Villa, Martinez, Leicester, Vardy, Brighton, Basuma, Wolves, Cody, Spurs, Kane, Arsenal, Saka, West Ham, Antonio. United, Liverpool, and De Bruyne for Manchester City. Mm. Uh, yeah, that's our video. A uh, little bit longer than yeah. usual. A little bit longer than yeah. usual. Uh, we put De Bruyne obviously as in the City, which Ben. I mean, about now. It's, it's 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 like De Bruyne, like honourable mention to Ruben Diaz, but yeah, and I guess Cancelo, what he brings to the team is unique. But I don't know. Maybe maybe it's recency bias. Maybe it is Diaz. Might might be Diaz too far. I don't know. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know. Hey, I don't it's know. too late. You've locked in. You've locked in. Oh. Um, <laughs> thank you very much, guys, for watching. I hope you guys very much enjoyed it. Sorry about the technical issues at my end. Uh, the Wi-Fi has been very bad today, unfortunately. Of all days, my today just happened to be mm. today at this specific point in the day as well. Um. Might, Make I sure you go check out the link for Link Me down below. Download it on your phone. We need that because I might be leaning Diaz I now. You know, money back that <laughs> on the podcast. I'm crying out loud, Ben. No, <laughs> it's done. It's done. It's done. Well, you send De Bruyne. So, so your, your initial instinct was De Bruyne, so you've you picked De Bruyne. Um, nice. What else do you normally say? Ch- uh, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, uh, at the Blue Podcast One on Instagram and Twitter, at the Blue Podcast on TikTok. Uh, we have a new channel coming soon as well. Mm. Little spoilers. Um, yeah, I think that's it, to be honest. And we'll see you guys on Sunday for a proper show. <laughs> and like and subscribe and all that. I'm really tired today. Sorry, I've been a bit all over the place. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>